In this video we're going to have a look at how to create a sun study. In the last video we looked at how to create a shadow diagram and a sun study could just be an animated version of a shadow diagram. So we're using, we're back using the view, 3D view options, 3D styles, white model with shadows just because it looks clean and crisp. We see the outline of the building and the roof, we see the grey shadow. Now what we're going to do is to choose or to decide uh, which day we want this shadow to be cast on because we want this to be real not just fictitious create sun study and for how long a nice way of doing this is to do it from sunrise to sunset we're going to use our 3d window rather our photo rendering window previously in, in past versions of archicad doing it in the 3d window didn't really produce a very nice result because the settings weren't that nice with archicad 21 we have uh, so much more ability to create a an attractive view within our 3D window, then it works very well for us. How do I want to do this? The standard increment is 30 minute increments and it tends to mean that it's just way too fast. It's too quick as a, a model uh, or an animation. So let's just change that to 10 minute intervals. It's still going to be very quick, but uh, that'll be fine for now. We're going to save it as an MP4. We're going to save it in color we could theoretically do it in black and white or grayscale because our model is but that will be fine for now uh, 10 frames per second is what the frame rate is about now, I think we would need to upgrade that to about 25 frames per second to be more like a, a proper animation or a movie uh, but 10 is um, gonna make our modeling rendering time faster so that'll be fine for now of course we can upgrade that as we go on just like with photo rendering make it more complicated each time if I press show it's going to make the render but it's not going to save so I want to make sure that I save it as well um, so let's do this sun study and it's going to represent for me so we're going to watch it happen and then once we've done that, we'll be able to actually play it or replay it. Like I said, the 3D window is significantly faster than photo rendering. Now, of course, photo rendering could be fast if it was a very, very small render, but generally that's not very effective for what we're trying to do. So I find that using the... the 3D window with these new settings that we find in version 21, the white model render tends to work a lot better. So we see that this model unfortunately isn't big enough. There's not enough terrain to be able to represent all of the shadows as the sun sets very, very low and also when the sun is rising. That's pretty normal. Uh, it's sort of what we'd expect. We, um, we could make a model that was bigger, but it would have to obviously be huge. And then we'd have to zoom out so far that we wouldn't end up seeing everything that we want to. Uh, now, therefore, if that's not helpful, we could reduce the hours. So we could make it only from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., for instance. And that would make sure that it stays more localized. Uh, but it's not a bad way to start. So let's have a, a, another look at that. We can open that up now in quick time and we can view what that looks like. Now the fantastic thing about the way this represents is it actually gives us our latitude and longitude, a date and a time and of course we could we could see that that was still pretty fast. It's not terrible. Um, it's quite quick. To make that slower we'd need to add either reduce the frame rate or add more intervals, effectively more screenshots, more renders. But for now, let's just slow it down by moving it manually and we could pause it when we're happy with the the numbers that it gives us. Something really strange going on with these numbers. I'm not quite sure what that's about. I have to look into that.
because that's definitely not representing sunrise to sunset. Alright, so that's the basis of how we make our sun study.